you know what? I am totally going to wipe the smile off their faces. You should know by now, this sort of attitude will get you nowhere. I encourage Amy to be a bridesmaid. Don't spoil it for her. <laughs> oh, hey, shouldn't you be at home making yourself look pretty? No, seriously. Congratulations, it's your big day. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe how lucky I am. Yeah. New chapter, fresh start. Mum and Tony are off to Spain. Carla's bought into the pub. Oh, well, you can wave goodbye to your profits then. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought I heard your voice. Oh, there she is. Off along, Cassidy. Can you come here a minute? I've got something for you. Yeah. See ya. See ya. Is it hurt? A bit. Sometimes. I'm definitely over the whistle. In the words of Kelly Clark, something doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> there you go. I made them for you and your family. It's just a little more mental. Uh, one of them's got a bit wonky, but the others are fine. Now, you get home, get ready, and have the best day of your life. Nothing to wear. Oh, well, stop stressing. You look gorgeous in a bin bag. Oh, great. Well, that's that sorted then. Bin bag it is. Hey, you know, maybe we should swerve the wood. No, we can't. Go back to bed. You are terrible. I know, I'm giving up the chance. <laughs> oh. <sighs> uh, it's Mum. She needs me at the house. Great. Best jog on back to Mummy then. It's all happening, isn't it? Precious son's getting married. Mm. You're jetting off to an exciting new life. All sunshine and sangria. Did you want something? Only I have got a wedding to prepare for. Well, it's just a pity that it's a sham. What is? You're not going to like this, Liz. But, um, I think it's about time you found out the truth. The truth about what? About Tony. He's been telling you a load of porkies. I don't care what happens in that grotty little shop of yours. Yeah, well, maybe you should do. Well, let's just say that the stock room has seen more than its fair share of action. He's been cheating on you. He's been cheating on you, Liz. With me. Tony rock solid. He won't go near you with a barge pole. Oh, really? He couldn't get enough of me. Oh, it's such a buzz being wanted that much. I mean, you're all right and everything. For your age. Well, a bit rough around the edges. Whereas I, I was a proper ego trip. Do you remember Amy's recorder recital? Well, when she was murdering My Heart Will Go On, he was sat between the two of us. What well, he was leching at me like you wouldn't believe. Right, well, what else can I tell you? Well, he's got a tattoo of a skull. Just here. Well, have a look at this. Well, it's all there in black and white. Dirty text. Look, the affair was just the tip of the iceberg. While you were planning happily ever after with him, he was planning a future with me. Well, he already owns half the pub. He bought it for me. Do you remember the mysterious Mr. Travis? It was Tony. <laughs> and if Carla hadn't stuck her neb in, I would be behind that bar now, and you would be down the job center. Poor you. You were playing the proper little wifey, cooking his tea every night, picking his underpants up off the floor. And I, well, I was his midlife crisis. Anyway, yeah, have a great day. Give my love to Tony.
You know what your sister's like. She'll have made enough food to feed an army. You took your time. I texted ages ago. What's so urgent? We're all going to Auntie Gallimard's. Attendance is non-negotiable. Yeah, we're going to have to swerve it. I've got other plans. Well, it's the wedding reception today, and, uh, well, I need to talk to Leanne. You speak to Leanne every day. What is so important? I can't wait. What is it, son? I'm going to ask Leanne to marry me. Uh, <laughs> wow! Dad! That's brilliant! <laughs> well done, son. Congratulations. You don't mind? I am very happy for you. Give him some time. There's a lot for him to think about. I'm not sure about this headdress. Would you not have been better with a Juliet cap? <laughs> and what? Think of it as like a little crash helmet made out of lace. I wouldn't go quite that far. The wedding kicks off in a couple of hours. I'm only saying. Oh. A fondue set. Very 1970s. Don't knock it. They're all the rage again. You can stick anything in them. Cheese, chocolate, preferably not at the same time. Mm. Ah, would you look at that? Mm. A princess comes a call. I'm cooler than a princess. That dress is amazing. I know, Kim Kardashian's got nothing on me. Oh, and modest with it. Proper little diva, aren't you, love? I wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> I've got a sequin stuck to my finger. Where's your bathroom? Oh, in there, on the left. Oh, do you know what? I forgot my earrings. Oh, do you want me to go over the rovers and get them for you? Yes, thank mm. you. You won't be long, though, will you? Because uh, I want you to put some nail polish on. How can you do this for me, do that? She won't be able to bosh you about once you're a landlady of the rover. Yeah. Yeah. Clash of the Titans. Yes. I can't find my keys. Have you still got my spare set? Yes, I have. They're in my bag at home in the back room. <sighs> that doesn't matter anyway, because we'll still be able to let you in. Mm. Do you need a glass of champagne? Yeah, sorry, thought you'd never ask her. Your bathroom's lush. I can't believe you actually have blue lines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All mod cons. I want a flat like this when I grow up. No more granny house for me. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Cheers. Calm before the storm, eh? <laughs> Cheers. Here, money me. Come on in. Ladyship's forgotten her earrings. Oh, right. You're right. Yeah. Liz, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. No, I can see something's wrong. Uh, not now. I, uh, don't want to talk about it now. Not now. Liz, you're shaking. What's happened? No, if I start, I won't be able to stop. If I tell you, you've got to keep it to yourself. What? It's Steve and Michelle's big day. I don't want anything to ruin it. It's Tony. Sorry, mate. Look, your mum will always have a special place in my heart. But memories aren't enough, see? I love Leanne, and I want to be with her. I just hope that one day, well, you might even like her. I do like her. At least she's not as bad as I thought. I love that. It's just... confusing. You know, if it's cool between me and Leanne, I feel... I feel weird. I feel like I'm being disloyal to Mum, like I'm betraying her. Your mum wouldn't see it like that. Look, your mum was taken away from us too soon, I know that. But she'd want us to move on with our lives. Look, I'm telling you, if you're not ready for this, then I won't do it. Honestly? Honestly. for it. Are you giving me your blessing? As close as you're gonna get. Hey.
All I need now is for her to say yes. Of course you will. You are a real coach. Hey. <laughs> but nobody would blame you if you pulled a sickie today. Will that Tracy win? Don't think so. OK. All right. In that case, you best get busy with that mascara. Hmm? Perhaps not, eh? Well, fine. I've just come over for Shell's earrings, but you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> sure, all right, because your eyes are all red. Uh, she's allergic to a mascara. <sighs> right. How can you shove them more of it on then? Oh, I've taken an antihistamine now. I I'll be fine. Yeah, you can't go to a big do without mascara. It's against the law, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right. Later. Mm. Yeah. Bye, love. Hey. Later. I will miss you when you go to Spain, you know. I couldn't stand Tony at first, but I have to admit he's proved me wrong. And I'm really happy for you, jetting off to the sunshine with your fancy man. <laughs> oh, Mum, come here. Oh. We're shut. Private party. Yeah, you don't say. Six hours I've been working. One minute school break and not a chance of a sit down anytime soon. Listen, Amy's forgotten a tiara and she's threatening to throw a massive strop. Mm. Well, that means she's a chip off the old block, that one. Yeah, I just wondered, can I go in the back and see if I can find it? Well, don't nick any champers. Every bottle has been counted and verified. Doing some assaults. Oh, I see Karen, babes. You can have a ball. You'd be late. How long does it take to go to the loo? Oh, no, we're now, Amy. She'll be rooting through your wardrobe, teetering round in your Jimmy Chews. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hang on. I want a word with Madam. What do you want? I've just come to say to right away, Amy. Listen, I know what you've done. Oh. So. So? Just stay away, Tracy. You've done enough damage. Nobody's going to ruin Michelle and Steve's wedding, you know that? Oh, you know what? This is so typical of you, Carla, laying down the law. But you know something? It won't work with me, cos I'll do whatever I want and to hell with the consequences. That sounds like a threat. It's a promise. But one way or another, I'm going to make you lot pay. Time. I hope we haven't missed the speeches. I'm always losing these flaming cufflinks. I wasn't losing them, it was putting them on. The way you were flapping about, I think you were getting married. <sighs> Sorry, I've just got a lot on my mind. Oh, look, if this other dude's so important... No, no, it's not that. Well, if your mum and dad are annoyed that we're not going to your auntie's party, we can always... They're, they're cool. They're cool with us. We've got their full blessing. Really? Well, that's good to know. Um, look, before we go to the pub, do you fancy taking the strong? It's trouble, we're late as it is. Well, I might miss us for a bit. Carl, I've had my tea, I'm starving. And anyway, the likes of Norris can strip a finger buffy quicker than a shoulder of piranhas. Sai, come on, we need to go. Oh, rice, very retro. Yeah? Pity it's not in a tin. Hang on. Aren't we forgetting someone? Has something gone awry? All right, keep your hair on. What's left of it? Uh, well, uh, my wedding present to the happy couple was a honeymoon. So, uh, Tony will be dropping them off at the airport as we speak. What? So they're not coming to the wrong reception? To be honest, that was just the way the flights worked out. I don't really see much point in having a do with Hang that. on, hang on. Some of us bought wedding presents. We, we should continue with the party. I mean, it's still that wedding day. <laughs> 
You just want to get pie eyed. If a man can't celebrate his daughter getting wed. To, uh, we can at least raise a glass to him. Exactly. Whatever. Is anybody going to throw the bouquet? Oh, sorry. She threw it at the registry office. <laughs> hey? You must have been gutted when Andrea caught the bouquet. I mean, let's face it, need all the help you can get now. Back off, Tracy. Shame your boyfriend didn't say the same thing to me. Well, it's going to take more than a square of salt to get them clean, isn't it? You what? You heard, Tracy. Have you got the gall to show your face here? Well, you see, there's no point in lighting a fuse if you're not going to stick around and watch the fireworks. I really don't know how you live with yourself. But what is your problem? Hey, I could have ruined today if I'd wanted. You did? For Liz. You know the grandmother of your child, in case you need reminding? And you would have done for Steve and Michelle if she'd not packed them off to Spain before you pounced. Yeah. Well, even if I did, they would have still had more of a wedding than I had. Oh. Well, you know what? They deserve it because they love each other. I loved Rob. <laughs> I still do. Really? Yeah. You love Rob? Can you hear yourself, Tracy? All that time when you were playing the grieving prison widow, smashing my factory up, making teary speeches. All that time, Tracy, and you were sleeping with Tony. <sighs> Me doing that has got nothing to do with how I feel about your brother. Oh. Well, I'm sure that would be a great source of comfort to him, you know, if he still gave us stuff. Going to prison was the luckiest escape he ever had from you. No, no, I am so done with giving you free hits and the benefit of the doubt because there is none, Tracy. You are just one spiteful, self-centered, vicious cow. And you never love my brother. You know why? Because you are incapable of it. You just chewed him up and you spat him out the same as you do everybody around you. But you know what, Tracy? One by one, people will cut you out just like I'm going to do now. And you'll be all alone. Till the day they stick you in the ground. Oh, Si, I was teasing. Simon! Si! Problems? Oh, he started to notice girls. Oh, I don't see five minutes since we were talking about the tooth fairy. You know, it's times like this he needs Peter. Oh, I've had a few man to mans in my time. I could talk to him. Oh, thank you. <sighs> nice Back of the queue, I'm afraid. What is a lot left? Oh, no, no, that's a feast. Piece of quiche, a load of pensioners have coughed all over. Oh, and a roll. A small child has taken a bite out of. It's a bit tight with it. So you can ask her for a dance? She might say no. She might. Then what? What, the sun won't come out tomorrow? I just can't. Look, what if I took that attitude with your mum, eh? It seemed like the whole world was against us. It would have been easy for me to say I can't, but I didn't. I knew it was important to me. So go on, be a man about it. of all my romantic experience and accumulated wisdom. Mm, can take long then. Two minutes. <laughs> um, look, can we pop outside for a minute? Hey, mate, can I dance with your bird? The nearest I've got to a plus one is Kev, and if I start dancing with him, people are going to talk. <laughs> Be my guest. Right, come on, Ty. <laughs> 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 this flat's well cool. Oh. Very tasteful. Tasteful? 
It's a very grown-up word. Where'd you hear that from? My well, mum said it about this place. She reckons you must have paid someone. Ha! <laughs> Did she? I don't have to go to bed yet, do I? Today's been ace. All right, Um, What do you want, drink? Have you got any cocoa? Grandad sometimes makes it. Well, it's not really a cocoa kind of pad, this. Although I do have some Belgian hot chocolate. Great. Hmm? <laughs> Great. Sleep in here. I'll tell you what, you can have my bed. Really? Mm. Can I have my candle in the bedroom? No, no, no. I think we'll light that here while we have a drink, shall we? Thanks. I don't care what my mum says about you. You're all right. Mm. Chocolate for you, Cabernet for me. Me out here all night. You're not taking up smoking, have you? Yeah, as if. No, I just wanted somewhere private where we could talk. Yeah, well, you could have picked somewhere a bit warm and freezing. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. Right, go on then. What do you want to talk about? Uh, well, there was loads of things I wanted to say. I mean, look at Simon. I mean, he's got the courage in his hands. He just asked the question. The thing is. I mean, what I wanted to say was... <sighs> Leanne. Yeah. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. <laughs> um. Oh, no. Oh, I don't believe it. I must have left it at the flat or at the gym. Just hold that thought. No, no, it's all right. Go on, go on. Just say what you are going to say. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it properly. Don't go anywhere, yeah?
For you. When where? Didn't say exactly. Maybe she went to the gym. I don't know. Anyway, come on. Pass your bedtime. Hey, well done, you. Fortune favors the brave. Just so that you get to go to a wedding. But you love her, yeah? Uh, oh, do we have to talk about it? But she's a lovely girl. I know she's a lovely girl. Well, Gail and me would love to chip in for the wedding. I'll give over with it. Everybody loves a wedding. I, I am warning you. Is, is that an alarm? What's that? <laughs> Leanne? Brigade. Are you okay? Uh, is anybody else in there? I don't know. I know there's the exit of conference in Birmingham and, and the girls are with Gail at orders. Uh, fire Brigade, please, and, and ambulance. Um, there's been a fire in, in a block of flats on Victoria Street. Um, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, just breathe. No, uh, don't, don't, don't. Shallow, shallow breaths. Carla. <laughs> What were you doing in there? I left you in the pub. I was looking for you. Well, I was in the flat getting the ring. Oh, this is turning to be the most disastrous proposal ever. <coughs> yeah, there's a woman here. She's, she's been breathing smoke and she, she's cut her hand and, and she was coughing really badly. My name? It's Gavin. Ga Gavin Rodwell. Yeah. Carla. Carla. Tracy? What have you done now? I haven't done anything. I came close. I came really close. Did anybody get hurt? No, Dad, nobody got hurt. Well, nobody that didn't deserve it. Look, I don't need to behave yourself at the wedding. Yeah, well, don't worry, because nobody died. You see, that's the problem with me. I'm too nice for my own good. Keep me warm. Car Carla, can you hear me? Carla, is she okay? Carla! Yeah, yeah, me, me and Gavin are fine. E everyone's safe. Carla. Everything's <coughs> all right. <coughs> There's, fire. There's been a fire. <coughs> Don't try to talk. There's an ambulance on the way. <coughs> He's inside. She says Amy's in there. She's in the what? What are you doing? I've got to get Amy. We've got to wait for the emergency services to get here. Well, I'm not a guy. Leanne. Leanne. 
let's get you back to the cafe. Eh? I can dress this back there. I, I, I know Nick's in Birmingham, but I've not got his number in my phone. Look, perhaps you should go and tell Tracy and Liz what's happening. All right, will you be all right here? Well, I'm sure the emergency service will be here soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll go and see David straight after. Yes. Yes, Gail. <coughs> yeah, this is crazy. Just leave it to the professional. Don't leave me there. All right, well, let me go back. No. Leanne! Leanne and Carol have got to find Amy. Look, I'm not standing around here doing nothing. No, Kevin, wait for the fire brigade. Oh. Uh, come on, give us a hand. I'll go and get some tools from the guy. Come on, Jim. Oh, Jim. Where's Amy? <coughs> Where's the ambulance? Has anybody found me an ambulance? Look, I'm going to try them again. Are you okay? Hello? Yes, there's a fire on Victoria Street. Oh. Are you okay? What are you oh. trying to she say, Brad? She shouldn't be speaking. She's inhaled a lot of smoke. <coughs> write it down. Write it. <coughs> the door code 7441. 7 what? 441. Come on! Hey, can you go and tell Jenny what's happening? No, no, don't go in! What's going on? Well, anyone inside? They can't get through. The ring road's closed. They're going to be here as soon as they can. Right? Carol and Leanne have gone after Amy. Carol! You're right. Yeah, I'm ready when you are. Oh, Dad, wait for the fire come brigade! On. My dad's in there. I'll come. Zidane! No. no. Zidane! Help, please. Help. Amy! We're going to get you out of there, sweetheart! Amy! What's <laughs> blocking the door? No, 
we're not. Look, I'm going to get us out there, I promise, okay? No. Keep low. Near the floor. What are you doing? Follow me. Redress that. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. We get the ladder. We'll get up to the balcony. It's our only option, and we've got to do it quickly. You take Amy's hand, and when I say go, we run. Okay? Ready, run, Ames? Go! Sweetheart, it's all right. Mom! 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 Amy! Amy! You ever been down a ladder before? Amy! What about bunk beds? Yeah, I'm doing like that. Yeah, just like that. Sweetheart, it's okay. No, you've got to get this moving quick. Amy. Somebody else hold it. Why? I don't want the balcony falling on you. I've got to hurry. Ready? I can't. I can't. Come on, darling, we're not going to let you fall. Go. We're going to do this now. There's no time. Just like the bump bed, yeah? Tracy! I'm going up! You can't, it's too dangerous! Get off me, you idiot! That is my daughter up there, and I'm going up! Tracy, Stop. she needs encouragement. Not more panic, yeah. Tracy, talk to her, please! Right, um, Amy, now listen, babe! Amy! Amy, this is Grandma. Right, you listen to me. What happened to that girl who told me last week She's not scared of anything. Or was that a lie? Right, come on. You are not frightened of a ladder. You wait till I tell you, mates. Oh, that's it. That's it. Come on, that's my girl. That's my girl. Come on, you can do this. That's it. Now you show them who's boss. Oh, well done. Amy, come here. Oh. Call Alia. I left a message. What more can I do? Well done, sweetheart. I really don't like the look of that. Dad, get up the ladder! Keep moving! Get people. 
back just in case. What do you mean, just in case? Anyone holding the ladder, just get back! Oh, oh, please, don't get back! Oh, away. Tim! Come on! I'm holding the ladder, Sam! Well, get somebody else to hold the ladder! Guys! I'm holding the ladder! Oh, get moving! Oh. Oh. Is that what you're doing? Yes. What? Yes, I'll marry you. Go there, quickly! Go, I'll be right behind you! person unaccounted for, second floor flat, don't know what room. And what's your name? Uh, Amy, she's my daughter. And uh, my granddaughter. Hi, Amy, I'm Susan. Just going to run some checks on you, make sure everything's open. You've inhaled a lot of smoke. No, I'm fine. She's, she's got her hand in as well, it's nasty. <coughs> I'm fine, I'm oh, fine. Please, excuse me. Amy, you OK? Is she OK? You, stay away from her. Come on, me, love, come on. Why aren't you going in to get my dad? You can't just leave him! We're sending a crew in there. We'll get to him as fast as we can. Nick! Look at him! Where's he gonna hide? What's going on? I left you a message. Well, my battery's dead. This is my family. Is that Carla's back? Carla? Well, she's all right. She's over there. Oh, I should go and check. Anya! Your father's in there. Well, we're trying to keep the area clear. Sophie, it's Jenny. You were right. I've, I've just... my son. A soldier. You yeah, had a good one too, so he'll find a way out, right? Or someone to protect himself. Yes, he will. Let's get her on the road. Is she going to be okay? Is she going to be okay? Is she... She's 
to life, but we don't know the extent of her injuries. We just need to get her to hospital immediately. I'll come with you. Yeah, we'll come too. Well, I told you what's happening. I'll meet you at the hospital. It's been a long shift and the money after through it. Please be a good girl and stop running away. I'm sorry. We found a body. Ah! You said he'd find a way out. I want to see him. I'm so sorry. I want to see him. I need to know. We found him in the flat. He went in there after you. This is your fault. He's... Dad. Because of you. See? Should have been me. You can't live in a world of ifs and buts. What is, is. We just have to deal with it as best we can. I missed it. We're glad you did. We'll be staying at Grandma's. No, but all my stuff's in there. Can't you borrow some McCartney's? So you're not feeling sick or anything? Not anymore. Did I tell you the nurses said I was very brave? Yes. Yes, you did. Where have you been? I'm sorry, sweetheart. So, what's it like over there now the police... Dad, can we just stop talking about the fire? For five minutes. Amy's been through a horrible experience, haven't you, sweetie? I'm going upstairs. Can you bring a drink up for me and Simon? Yeah. She's going to be fine. But we need to be mindful of Simon. It's going to be a terrible shock when Leanne tells him about Cal. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Where are you going? I'm going to give my condolences. Tracy? What is it? What is it, love? The fire. What about it? Me and Tony, we've been having an affair. I told Liz about it before the fire. Oh, for goodness sake, Tracy. When are you going to stop wrecking people's lives? And just when I thought you'd turned a corner. This time it's of little comfort, but if it hadn't been for Carl's bravery, well, you should be very proud of him. <laughs> we are. And it is of comfort. Uh, every time I close my eyes, I, I see his face the last time we spoke. You know, he was, he was happy. <laughs> 
we have a, a million happy memories. And they'll all cloud in here. <laughs> I thought to with you, and if there's anything I can do, anything. Thank you. I'll make some tea, shall I? I keep thinking he's not really gone. I mean, how can he be? Yesterday morning he was here. He was here. Oh, I feel like I can't breathe. Yes, you can't. <laughs> I've been trying to think. I've been trying to get my head around it all night. We lit a candle. She went to bed. I blew it out. I know I blew it out, right? The more I think about it, maybe I didn't. Well, I'm, I'm sure your, your initial instinct is correct. I've been drinking a bit, though, haven't I? How can I be sure I'm not imagining it? Maybe I'd lift it on. There's no point in torturing yourself. The fire investigator will establish the cause. Well, till then. In, in the meantime, you, you can stay here, of course. In, in the flat, I mean. Thanks. That's right. What do you think? Uh, and you are? Oh, sorry, I'm Carla Connor. It's my flat. Oh, uh, right. Well, we'll forward you a copy of the report as soon as we've written it up. So you know? We believe so. Please, I, I just... I need to know why this happened, you know? Well, preliminary indications show that it was started by a lighted candle. I'm sorry. I've got to go. And Alia and Sedan just look lost. What's that line? Tracing the shadows of vanished parents. <sighs> Don't tell me you're still brooding on this Tony business. No. I was thinking about Maddie, as it happens. Well, that's something. Yep, Tony Stewart is the last thing on my mind at the moment. Oh, Carla, right, come in. How are you? Oh, you know. Just came to see how Amy was. See for yourself. Oh, hey. Hey, how you doing? My throat hurts. The nurse at the hospital said it was very brave. I bet you were. Uh... Amy, can I talk to you for a minute? I need to ask you something. You know, last night when we lit your candle? Well, can you remember me blowing it out? Did you see me? No. Okay. And you didn't get up in the night and relight it, did you? Oi! What the hell do you think you're playing at? Well, I don't know. I'm just trying to make sense of it in my mind. Trying to pin the fire on an 11-year-old kid? Oh, that's low. Even for somebody with your track record. No. I'm sorry, Amy. I didn't mean to do that. I'm yeah, we all know what you were trying to do. You lit that candle and when she went to bed, it was still burning. So make sense of that and then get out. Tracy! Get out! Right, come here, sweetheart. Can we get some relief from Debs and take us to the hospital for him? Uh, later, maybe. Should we get home first, eh? Thanks, Ken. I'll uh, call if you need me, you know, when... Uh... Si, come back. Can I come in and play a game? Si, come on, we need to get home. Why? 
Why is Aaliyah crying? What is it? You haven't told him. Come inside, huh? No, no, no. Simon, I have to tell you something. And I need you to be brave. For me, for your mom. Yesterday, during the fire, when Cal went into the building, which was a very good, very brave thing to do, wasn't it? Is he badly hurt? Simon Cal. Well, they were not able to save him. Where's Simon? He's angry. What with you? Me, with Cal. I'm so sorry, Leanne. No, truly. I know how much you loved him. I'll leave you in peace, but I just wanted to say thank you for what you did for Amy. You saved her life, Leanne. Yeah, well, anyone would have done the same. No, they wouldn't. And they wouldn't have had to if that stupid cow hadn't left a candle burning. Sorry? Well, I thought you would have heard. It was an accident. Yeah, if you call passing out drunk with a candle burning an accident. What, Carla? No, it's not fair, is it? I mean... She's the one with blood on her hands, but she's walked away from this without a scratch. Carla! Leanne, I'm just gonna come into the flat. I just wasn't sure if... What, you should show your face? No, I wasn't sure if you were up to scenes. I'm so sorry about Cal. I'm so sorry. Is it true? I think perhaps we should... Stay be. out of this, Roy. Is it true that you left a candle burning? Answer me, yes or no? Yes or no? I don't know. What's going on? Again, because of her, I've lost the man I love and you've lost your dad. And I will never, ever forgive you for this. No. I want to know what she's talking about. Forgive you for what? I don't think this is the place. But I just want to know what she's talking about. Leanne! Zena, not here. Not today. Well, an accident. It was a mistake, Roy. It was, it was my mistake. Oh, we're, we're, we're closed. Oh. What for? Day of mourning. What is it you want? I want to know how it feels to be responsible for so much suffering. I'd, I'd, I'd like you to leave, please. Father, son, lover. So many people have got a whacking great hole in their life because of you. Oh, and don't get me started on the Websters. Please, go. So many people despise you, Carla, and the air you breathe. Yeah, well, welcome to my world. Let's see how you like it. The funeral will be on Friday. Uh, and, and, and the cream hot, please. Good choice. There we go. I want to run the gym. There you go. Fiver. So you want uh, 40 p change. Thank Cheers, Norris. Thank you very much. I don't know what to do. I work for her. I respected her. You don't have to do anything. It's too early. We don't even know what happened to you. She was drunk and she left a candle burning. That's what happened. Yeah, it's the devil. What is? The booze. Yeah, well, it's times like this I understand why people do it. What's to when uh, Sharif gets back from the mosque, please tell him to drop by. I will. Yeah. Leanne! Hiya. We ran into each other. I hope I'm not interrupting. Oh, no, 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 please. I was just leaving. I heard you were back. Yeah, I just got in a couple of hours ago. Look, I'm, I'm so sorry about Cal. When I heard, I was just... It's OK. Right, well, uh, look, I'd, uh, I'd best get home, but um, 
It's like I said to Yasmin, if there's anything you need, I'm there. Thanks, Dev. Thank you. See ya. Uh, look, I apologize for just turning up. Don't be ridiculous. Well, I won't keep you. Hiya. Hiya. Have a seat. No, no, like I said, I won't keep you. Have a seat. How's Simon? Eh, uh, not good if I'm honest. I tried talking to him, but he just won't let me in. Do you want a cup of tea? No, I've, um, just come to ask about the funeral. I know it'll be at your mosque, so I just thought I'd check the arrangements. First, I think. I agree. Yeah, thanks. You know, I meant it when I said, we do not blame you. Absolutely not. A hundred percent. Every time I close my eyes, I just replay it in my head. If we've acted differently. Then others would have died. Yes, yeah, suppose. Can I ask you something? Oh, this isn't the time. Yeah, it's okay, go on. I'm not sure if he managed to say it or not, but um, that night Dad was planning to propose. Yay. I didn't quite get the words out, but I got the basic gist. Okay. The answer was yes, just in case you're wondering. It's the last thing I said to him. Sorry. I'm really glad. Yeah, me too. The fire officers found this, son. It belongs to you. Oh, yes, ma'am. Please. You're our family now. Always. Morning. I'm sorry about my brother for killing me. No, don't apologise. I'm sure you can appreciate it. Isn't it? Honestly, Honestly, please don't apologise. Here. Listen, I just wondered if you wanted to come round later on and help me sort your dad's things. Do you need some time off? Take the afternoon off you want. That'd be great. Thanks. Right, I'll see you later. Yeah. I'll go and get us some coffees. Oh. This is nice. Would you wear it? You don't really wear watches anymore, do you? You just check your phone. It's gorgeous, though, that. Si, would you get that for me, please? I'll uh, save it for special occasions. Hi, Sai. Can I come in? It's Alia. What's that? I uh, nothing. Hey. Carla said I might as well come now, so. Look, Dad's watch. Mum got him that. Wedding anniversary one year. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. No. I found this Valentine card that I sent your dad this year. <laughs> I was just reading the message. So full of hope. Yeah, we've got to keep it. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I don't think he'd keep stuff like this. Mm. Old softy, really. About stuff that matters. <laughs> Sorry, just get me some more pin bags from under the sink, please? Why? To be helpful, please. No. Simon, please. It wasn't even my dad, he's got nothing to do with me. Well, we know what today's about, don't we? Oh, don't. Look, he's had a lot on his plate too, you know, with his dad going to Portsmouth and everything. Yeah, he's probably just processing it all. There's a lot worse places you could be than Portsmouth. It's not funny! I wasn't being funny. Right, um, where do you want us to start? How See, listen, I'm sorry about Sai. I'm angry, so God knows how you must feel. You're all right. I'll see you hear her out. That's cool, save it. No, listen, I was so looking forward to being part of your family. And I don't mean to take the place of your mum, I didn't mean that. Or what, like you did with mine? Simon. 
happen? I'll do one, Leon. You're being really annoying. Was that you? Hey, Simon. Oh, drop dead. Lovely. That's what Cal did, isn't it? Drop dead. Rescuing me. Do you fancy getting some chips? I am what missed me. My mum's making computers. I best get back. It's your loss. See ya. Where have you been? Oh, what? Like you care. You can dry up. I was worried. God, I only went to the chippy. Oh, well, funny that, because I've just made you tea. It's in the oven. Why don't you give it to Zidane, then? If you'll have it. Simon, Zidane's just lost his dad. Now's not the time to get all jealous and childish. I'm not a child. You're 11 years old. Do you not think I know what it's like to lose someone? I didn't say that. It's what you meant, though. Look, Si, I know you've lost your mum, and... I didn't lose her. You're the one being childish. She didn't go missing. She died. Get it right. Ah! <sighs> I'm sorry. It was an accident. I just lost my temper. I don't know what happened. Mum. I heard you. I'll say something then. Get your coat. Where are we going? I need to get out of here and I'll get your coat. What are you doing here? I just need a bit of time on my own. Why? Why do you think? I am. Wasn't expecting you. Yeah, sorry to barge in on you like this, Ken. I just wondered if you could have Sai for a bit. Yeah, no problem at all. You all right there? No, not really. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Ah, it's fine. Right, go on, Sai. I'll pick you up later. I don't want to go. Sai, please. What happened to your face? Oh, I uh, opened a cupboard door and <laughs> forgot to duck. <laughs> no, why don't you come in? I'm just about to cook some dinner. Oh, no, no, it's fine. It's really kind of you, but I just need a couple of hours to myself. I understand. Thanks. Bye. Oh, you came back. Yeah, of course I came back. I told you I just needed some time to myself. Are you ready to come home? I'll just get my stuff. How's he been? Well, to be honest, he seemed rather anxious on edge. Tried talking to him, but he just kept asking when you were going to be back. My guess is he's still upset about Cal losing someone else so close to him. Yeah, it's not like he's had an easy time of it lately. Or you, for that matter. I'm ready. Right, say thanks to Grandad then. Thanks, Grandad. And if you need anything else, I'm here. And uh, I'd put something on that. It looks very painful. Yeah, well, thanks. Can you brush your teeth? Yeah. Right, we'll get yourself to bed. I'll see you in the morning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I'm sorry that you've had to go through all this. But you listen to me. No matter how upset or angry you feel, this can't happen again. Do you understand? It won't, I promise. 